doctors. They gave me a year of systemic chemotherapy, but no prognosis. Now here is why. Relay people everywhere in this country and around the world are so important to me. I was asked to speak to the Relay for Life of North St. Louis County just one month after the liver surgery. I did, and from the time I saw the committee members, the survivors, the guests, all the American Cancer Society people at the Relay, I knew I was going to be victorious for their love, warmth, hope, and positive energy gave me the prognosis that my doctors didn't and couldn't. I have been so blessed to be a survivor for what will be 19 years this July. In 1993, at the age of 24, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. At that time, I was a brand new mom with a bright and beautiful one-year-old daughter named Rachel. And I was also a relatively new wife to my amazing and most supportive husband, Andy. Following an extremely difficult hospitalization, when my prayers were probably at their peak, I heard God's answer to my prayers from a colleague. A fellow teacher shared with me that she'd been praying for me, and while I appreciated her support very much, it was what she said after that that was nothing short of miraculous. She conveyed to me that her elderly mother had been awoken during the middle of the night, heard my name, and that I needed prayers. After hearing my name, she stayed up the rest of the night praying for me. Ironically, my colleague had never told her mother anything about me, my name, much less my circumstances. This was the sign that I had been praying for. Everything was going to be okay.